Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome to this Wings of Fire tier list, which is hopefully going to be great joy to watch. Um, so, first of all, I'm currently in the middle of Cricket's book. I have not read all the books. I have read Legends Darkstalker, and I'm also currently in the middle of Dragonslayer. So, I'm not completely familiar with everybody yet. So, keep that in mind. But I'm still going to try and go through all of these. And just, um, completely ignore everybody that I don't know. So, for example, this guy here, who, who, Addicts? Yeah, no, no idea who he is. Admiral Blue's father? Nah, not a fan. I, he's just, he's just, he's just not fun. <laughs> so this is both according to how much I like the characters, as well as how much of a good character I think they are. So, for example, Albatross, I'm really fond of. I think the uh, manipulation that was going on between him and his queen, whatever her name was, <laughs> was really fascinating. And I would have loved to know more about him. Um, instead of just kind of the short bit we got to know about him in Legends Darkstalker. Anemone... Well, um, I would love to love an Anemone, and I did love her in book two, but after that, she just, I don't know, it, it's hard to distinguish her from the spell Darkstalker put on her and her actual character, so I, I kind of really dislike her. Um, oh, sorry, Arctic, Arctic, okay. Um, wait, let me just make sure that this is still legible, yeah. Okay, um, Arctic, um, what do I put you? I think he's a decent character. I think the fact of how trapped he was in his environment uh, with um, First Layer's mother's plan that was intended to keep him trapped, that made him really fascinating. And oh my god, I think he easily had the most gruesome death in the whole series. So that also just makes me sympathise. Um, that's some silk wing, don't know. Um, Auckland, she's a baby that we don't know anything about. I, I don't know. Battle Winner, I really like Battle Winner. Um, such a cool backstory, and I love the fact that in all her anger, she literally killed herself jumping out of a lava, lava pot, lava cauldron. Like, what, why did she do that? Was she really that angry? It's, it's fascinating to me. Um, Belladonna, I've only seen very shortly. Um, Blaze. I I don't know. I love Blaze. She's so stupid. She's just focused on her looks and that's all she cares about. And it, it she's so endearing. She's like, Oh somebody was trying to kill me? Oh I'll tell my, I'll tell my I swing queen about it. <laughs> I don't know, she's so cute. Um Blister is a really good villain. But no, no, I think I think she easily deserves a spot up there. Um, the fact that she freaking put the whole plan in motion to have war raging on the entire continent just for her to become queen, I think that's brilliant. I she's just such a good antagonist. Blob is the best thing that's ever existed, and he doesn't need a character, he's Blob. That's that's all that's all that's needed. Um, Baloo. I want to like Blue, and he gets better during his book, but he's so happy being oppressed. He's, he's like, I mean, I'm fine with him, like, overthinking everything and being like, oh, there's a reason this Hive Wing is having a bad day, etc. That's perfectly fine, but the fact that he's just like, oh, yeah, I'm enslaved, that's cool, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be, that, that doesn't quite sit right with me. Bumblebee is a baby that I've seen... Um, very, very little of, but I just don't know who he is yet, or she, I don't even know that. Um, Burn, I think is a, oh, oops, what have I done? <laughs> Burn, I think is an awesome villain. Um, the fact that she has the weirdling tower, I love it. Um, also I'm a bit, I'm a bit, sorry, I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit anxious to see my recordings actually happening. So, like, the three Sandwick Queens are easily all my favourites because, um, yeah, 
the I, I think Burn would would have made for the most interesting queen book wise. Um, Blister would have would have would have found a way to rule the entire continent. That would have been so good. Um, <laughs> um, Cadell. Um, I hate her. She's just mean to Cricket, and she just. She just seems rude. But then again, I'm only halfway through Cricket's book, so maybe maybe she becomes more like likable. Uh Carnelian, she's just there to she's just there to be mean. She doesn't she doesn't do much else. Don't know who you are, don't know who you are. Chameleon, um I hate him. <laughs> He's like just so selfish and like the fact when I don't know who says it, but he just wants money, right? He, he just wants gems and jewels and treasury, um, and I, it he, it doesn't enter his mind that he could use Darkstalker Scroll to just get himself some treasure. Like he's so stupid. I just he deserves to be kicked out of the Rainwing Village, honestly. Um, Clay, I don't know. I I could be more fond of Clay. Definitely could be like like Clay's sweet, but I feel like his character rarely doesn't extend any further than mm, what's next for dinner? Ho ho ho. I am hungry. And I mean he's a really he's a really loyal dragon. He's a he's he's a good boy. But he just doesn't have that much to him. I'm sorry. Uh, that's that's probably going to offend a lot of people. I'm so sorry. Ever a clay lover ever. So, Clairsight, easily my favourite character of all. Easily. Darkstalker Legends was easily one of my favourite books. And Clairsight, definitely my favourite character in the whole thing. Cliff, he is... Uh, well, I guess he's not quite up there with the queens. He's, he's still got time to develop, but oh my god, he's adorable. He is, he is the best baby. Um, don't know who you are. Corvril. I think I think she's good. Uh, she's a good character. Like, She isn't like the perfect sort of queen that Tsunami would have wanted, but she's really fascinating in how she is gruesome. Yet also kind of cool. I, I like that. Um, Cricket. I mean, she's a, she's a book nerd. That that so you know it's it's probably very relatable to a lot of readers. Um, she's she's cool. She does. She just she's just a bit bland to me. I mean, like like she's a nice and cool character, but not as intriguing as others. A uh, crocodile immediately dies after betray betrays the tribe, but don't care. Crystal, no idea. Maybe that's from Snowfall's book. I haven't read that yet. A uh, daffodil is <laughs> it's, 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 she's 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 a bit she's a bit strange, but she's very likable, very likable. Darkstalker, easily one of my favorite characters. I mean, Darkstalker Legends is one of my favorite books. Like you gotta find all of the characters from that in here. Uh, um, <clears throat> I really like him. I really like how he manipulates. I think that makes him a very interesting character. I, I don't think manipulation is good, just to cl clarify. Um, but I think the way he goes about it is really, really fascinating. Though every time I, I, I like think about his plans, I'm like, yeah, but what does he do when he's like king and everybody likes him and he's got everybody under control like that? That would get so boring so quickly. It's like when you cheat in a game and then you've achieved everything and it's like, okay, well, what's the point now? <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, Dazzling, one of the Rainwind, que Rainwind Queens, I think. Um... I don't know. I like the Rainwind Queens because they're they're both they're, they're, they're I mean the the whole system of them having multiple queens I find so intriguing. I love Glory's book, and the fact that they're all kind of lazy and don't want to do work, but then suddenly are like, oh no, why we got we got to defend our queen queen statuses, and then go become like cheaters. Like they're very unlikable, but I really like them as characters. Um, Deathbringer, or oh, I, I love Deathbringer. He is, 
Hey, it's smirky. He is fun. He's a he's an amazing character. And if Glory and him were to be the same age, and there weren't any problems around that, that they they would be easily my favorite couple. But this way, it's gonna have to be clear said in Dark Stalker. It's, it's, it's gotta be. Um, I don't know who you are and what you do, Dragon. Well, I know that it's like the the, the boys, the boys' cat, but it's a cat. Um, June, I think he's one of the. Uh, one of the one of the dragons that raised the dragon of prophecy, right? Webstone and Kestrel. And as such is not, not very likable to me. Exquisite um Exquisite is the one with the pet sloths. I think Dazzling is the one that actively does the cheating and Exquisite is just the pet sloth one. Um Fate Speaker, ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fate Speaker, but I just I just don't like you one bit. I I I don't I don't like it anytime she appears in the books. Then she's just so pretentious. She's she's like the definition of what the Night Wings are like. With her, ooh, we've got great powers. Look at me. Except like everybody knows with her, it's fake. It just makes her so pathetic to me. I'm very sorry, Fate Speaker. I'm sure I'm sure you're great. And the, I mean, the way she took care of Starflight is great, but I just I just don't like her. Fathom is um a very a very worrying boy, um but very cool still. Well, Darkstalker Legends, First Teeth. Um, I think that's the one that the that the one evil. Uh, the one evil Nightwing that got imprisoned in the Sandwing Castle is fond of. I don't, don't really know anything. Fjord, don't don't know anything. Flame, I like Flame. I like Flame. He's he's just mean to everything, and he hates the world, and he hates his face once it gets scarred. And I don't know. I just I just like bad or rude characters. I guess. Um, <coughs> apologies. <coughs> um, Foe Slayer. I, I don't know. She, she was interesting in a winglet where she was, where, you know, the Romeo and Juliet love story all over. And then in Darkstalker Legends, she kind of just becomes, well, she's kind of only there to argue with Arctic and then get trapped. Um, I, I think she's decent, we just we just don't really know enough. Um, Foxglove seems like a really nice character from Dragon Slayer. Fruit Bat, who are you? Gil, I really like Gil. Like, really, really like Gil. Um, because, like, in Turtles book we, we see him, um, like, when he, when he was still alive as well, and he's just such... It's just such a sweet character, and like, yes, he yells a turtle, but like, he immediately realizes his mistake, but he doesn't immediately fix it, which leads to a turtle, a turtle becoming a becoming a little anxiety ball. Um, but I don't know. I think he's really sweet, and you've got to sympathize with him because of the way he gets killed by his own daughter unknowingly. That's that was tragic. Um, Glacier, that's. Oh, I get so confused with the with the Ice Wing Queens. I don't know which one was. Their names are so similar to me. They're so forgettable. Um, <clears throat> Glory. Glory is easily one of my favorites. Um, I'll put it right next to Deathbringer. Um, she's just so snarky and so witty. And I mean, she also reads a lot, which I like her. <laughs> Grandeur. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of Grandeur. Um, because of her ties to Glory, as well as her having, like, any sort of royal behaviour, um, among the Rain Run Queens. I'll, I'll put Dazzling next to her. Um, Greatness, uh, that's Battle Winner's daughter, I think. Um, she just... Like, why would you not try and take over the throne when your mother is literally stuck in a cauldron? Like, how's she supposed to beat you up? None of the Nightwings even know she's still alive at that point. Like, 
it, it could be the easiest thing for a power hungry dragon and she just does nothing except follow her mother's rule like, I don't know you could have been so much more hailstone pyrite I'm sorry but I, I really wanted to like hailstone but first he's only like, oh, I'm insulting Winter, so as he'll leave and uh, don't not, not get captured himself. <clears throat> and then after that, he's all just like, oh, who am I? Identity crisis, help me. And I mean, that's valid, but it just, it just doesn't really interest me as a character. Hawthorne don't know you. Hazel don't know you. Heath. Um... I said only halfway through Dragon Slayer seems like a complete ass. Um, he, he's worse. He's worse than Fate Speaker. I'll, I'll give him that. Um, Hemlock. I, I don't. I, the same as Belladon. I don't really know him. Um, who's that? Okay, no idea. No idea. Um, Icicle. I. I mean, she's very unlikable. Because, you know, she wants to kill the dragon as a prophecy and she wants to work with Queen Scarlet. But I really found it impressive how she actually didn't sleep for like five to six days straight just so Queen Scarlet couldn't dream visit her. I've, I have really found that impressive and that's really stuck with me since. Plus, I also like mean dragons for some reason. Indigo? Oh, I love Indigo. She she and Fathom, she, they, they, I mean, they, they just belong together here. And she she's so cute. And actually, Blob belongs with them too. Who's who's her first child? Invincible Lord. Don't know anything about him yet. Random Silkwing that I don't see a name of. Um, that's not sword. This is sword tail. Okay. Um, Ivy seems likable so far in the book. Um, and uh, actually, she's pretty cool. Like she becomes a wing watcher. That's that's pretty nice. Uh, Jambu. Hmm. Like, he becomes likable. Um, I guess I'll put him up there. He becomes likable because he's like actually willing to go out on secret missions a bit more than than what would be healthy for him. Where Glory gets like really worried about him. Um, but at the start, he's just oh, just that all happiness and all and all stuff that's just. Yeah, it's just it's just too much for me. Uh Jabos don't know who you are. Jewel, no idea. Catty did she belongs with Blue. Like actually no, she's worse than Blue because she knows about the hive mind control and she's like, Yeah, there's nothing wrong with us. What do you mean? I mean I guess <coughs> I guess a lot of the hive wings are like that, but Eh. She helps Crooked hide, but that's all she does so far at my point in the book. So um, Kestrel. Kestrel's mean all throughout, but never, like, in a fun way. And even when she meets Peril, she's still, she's still mean. She's, she's, she's not even just, like, exclusively nice to Peril then. So, eh. Um, Kinkajou. I mean, honestly, I would have really disliked Kinkajou because I, I, I don't, I'm not I'm not a fan of like the overly positive, overly secret and everybody characters in books. Um, but like the line in Turtle's book, I think it was when uh, she's like, okay, I, I guess I'm gonna be the tragic hero and, and die trying to take down Darkstalker. And I was like, wait, no, they they can't kill Kinkajou. They they can't do that. That's that's not legal. And that really, that really made me like her. The um that and I guess it was also a bit sympathy that Turtle cast the spell that Darkstalker didn't deem her important ever again, and uh, th th that just made me sympathise with her. Um, but yeah, it's a bit bit too bubbly overall. Lagoon I think is queen when Albatross goes berserk. And she blackmails him. Like, I think she is a good character. I just... 
I just don't like it. <laughs> like, I mean, Admiral, I, I, like, I think I think he's got his perfect right to just be a, the, the character he is, Kestrel too. Like, I think that char- are good characters, or well-written characters in their own right, are just completely unlikable. Lark, no idea. Uh, Leaf, currently he still wants to massacre every single dragon he sees. Um, but I'm sure he'll get over it once he figures out that Ren was sh- supposedly sacrificed. Ah, uh, Liana, no idea. Listener, Listener is super sweet. I like Listener. Like, nah, she's not quite eight tier. She doesn't have enough. She doesn't appear enough in the books for that. But Listener is really awesome. I like her. Um, I think this is Luna. Eh, I mean. At my current point in the books, Luna and Sawtail are both just kind of like, Rebellion, Rebellion, Rebellion. Uh, it's like, okay, cool. Do, do, you, do you have a personality? <laughs> I mean, currently Luna has less of a personality than Sawtail, where I am right now. Like, I just I just saw her leave the con- continent with um, Moonwatcher. Um, and there she's like all hopeful, but... I just want to see the world burn. Lynx, no idea. Uh, Magnificent Ush is one of the queens. There you go, go with the other. Mandrake, no idea. Mangrove, I think? I don't know. A lot of the rain wings are generally boring, so I'm gonna, gonna assume he's one of them. Uh, Marsh, he's, well, yeah. Mastermind, oh, I hate him. I absolutely hate him. He's he's the worst. Like, uh, it's nice that he that he appreciates that he has Starflight as a son. That that part is good. But oh my god, he does not feel any sort of remorse for literally ca- capturing and torturing innocent Rainwings. Like Jesus Christ, that's 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 horrible. <laughs> like he's actually just torturing them without any sort of remorse. It's, but nah. Don't like him. Mighty Claws. I, 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 I think he's the one that, that that draws bananas to like, uh, to life. So he's he's likable, but we don't really know him still. Uh, mind reader. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you either. I, I can't even read that. Moon. Moon is amazing. I wish. I kind of wish that her book had not been the first of the second arc like I mean it was an amazing book and I wouldn't wouldn't change anything about it but I kind of wish that her book had been closer to the end like so as we would have gotten more of the her and Darkstalker dynamic especially when Darkstalker is like comparing her to Claire's site which is obviously not a ship <laughs> that is legal <laughs> that's a two thousand year difference Jesus um but like I, I like that how he kind of compares the two and they're like they're, they're both women in his life that try and like stop him from becoming completely evil, which I think makes the dynamic uh quite interesting to me at least. So I really like Moon. Uh, Morhen, she's a she's a good queen. Uh, the nightmare about her losing her siblings really made me sympathise with her, and <clears throat> I don't really really like the mudwing way of living, even though they. They just seem like the most bland tribe, I'm sorry. Like, on a list of blandness, I think Mudwings come first and Skywings come second. But, uh, sorry. <laughs> Motray, um, he's one of the un- unlikable Queen Coral troop. Morosia is a good villain. He's very unlikable. Um, <coughs> but definitely a good villain. And very interesting that is Moon's, uh, uh that is Moon's dad. But yeah, good villain. Not as good as either of the three Sandwin Queens, though. Even though he's in cahoots with Ballista. Um, yeah. I don't know, he's just so unlikable that I can't put him higher. That's that's my logic. I, Oh, Mushroom! Oh, you're a, you're a douchebag. <laughs> um, novel. Um... I don't know. Like, we can't really tell if Winter's parents cared for him at all. 
Um, but I think he died. I think he died in Keepley's book. Um, and yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like you can't really blame the Ice Wings for living like they are. Like, they're, 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 they've, they've got a horrible way of living. That's, eh. It makes for very strict parents, so I don't know how bad Narwhal would be if he if he didn't live in that environment to begin with. Nautilus, uh, I... He gave his son up to be, like, a second, uh, or, I said, yeah, the, the, a replacement, um, Dragonets of Destiny round, and then he just covers before Mount Morrissey all the time. I just, I just don't like him at all. Um, Oasis? Mm. Don't really know her. Like, I mean, she was, she, we know that she was scared of Blister killing her. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, makes sense. But we don't really know much about her. Ochre. Eh. I, I, I feel like the only sibling of Clay's that has any personality really is Reed. And then <coughs> the Zora being the assassin. The others are kind of just, eh. They're not really fleshed out. Uh, who are you? Um, sorry, what? Is that, is that Onyx? I don't remember. I, I really don't remember. This is Opal, don't know. This is... Oh, that's Orca. Oh, okay. Orca, um, really interesting character. I really find it very interesting. Uh, although I really imagine a black and white if you know she's called Orca. Um, love that she enchanted the statue. I mean, horrible thing to do, but I think it makes her for a very interesting character. And um, yeah, like I'll fight with Queen Coral. That I, I found I found that really impressive. Um, Orchid, I think, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, are Orchid and Mangrove the the two lovebirds? I think they might be. Oh, then I like them. I like, I like, I like those two. Right, I think, I think they're the lovebirds where Orchid was the one that was captured. The mangrove was looking for. Sweet love story. I approve. Osprey, who, who are you? Who, who are you? Who, who are you? Uh, what's, what's this? Oh, Peacemaker. He, that, that's an interesting one. Um, <laughs> is it is it a sin if I put Peacemaker and Boring? <laughs> He's more interesting than Clay's siblings. He's more interesting than Greatness, Luna. Um, but, I don't know. I mean, all we really know about him is that he's a dragon that, that likes strawberries. Um, I mean, the most interesting fact about him to me is that he's half rain wing. Um... <coughs> I think that was the most brilliant thing King Drew's ever done. Make him half Rain Wing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it, it just feels like we don't know what he's going to do yet. And before we know that, he can't really be interesting. Uh, Peril. I love Peril. She's a mass murderer and she doesn't... She, she, she doesn't care. <laughs> she's happy with her. <laughs> she's, just, she's, just, she's just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm a mass murderer. <laughs> That's me. Cool. Um, I like that. All, all of, all of the dragons we read about always worry about. It's like, oh, what if I claw his face off? Then, then, oh no, you'll feel bad about it, and whatnot. And it's so nice to just have somebody un unapologetically be a mass murderer, and more be like, oh, does Clay not like me then? <laughs> like, I don't know. Peril, Peril does what she does and she does not apologise for it and that's refreshing, especially when you have Fathom and Turtle who are just the, the most worry worded that you could ever be uh, and Starflight as well oh Starflight, ooh Starflight, don't get me started on Starflight uh, Pheasant, don't remember Pike is very unlikable, but not important enough to be hated um, Prey Hunter, no idea no idea 
can't read that. Prudence. I don't know. I think that might be First Layer's mum. And as said, she is the worst. Um, Queen Diamond. I think that's the queen during Darkstalkers times. I don't know. All of the Icewing Queens are kind of just unlikable. By the way, does anybody else feel like ever since the start of the first book, all the protagonists are kind of just working towards having like nice queens in every tribe? Like first they killed Queen Scarlet, or well, almost almost succeeded in killing Queen Scarlet, and then Ruby replaced her, which is just a much better queen. Um, and then they kind of did, did like a nice dude, a nice dude <laughs> check for the Queen Coral. Then they like put Queen Thorn in place uh, of the Sandwing throne, uh, which is also like a much nicer queen. And I don't know, it feels <laughs> and, like people are trying to take down Queen Wasp. But it just feels like everybody's trying to get like nice queens. And I don't know how Snowfall does in a book, but I, I bet she's going to turn out to be a nice queen too, because I don't know, all the queens that are supposedly meant to be nice. That's kind of a thing that Warrior Cats does as well. Where like the leaders kind of you, it feels like you're constantly working towards like having nice leaders, and then you don't have any conflict left, and then that makes things horrible uh, to read. I don't know. Um, Jade uh, Jade Mountain Academy, I, th I think was his name. Well, like this choice, but Keebly is definitely definitely up there. Um, second arc characters are just all good, and. <coughs> It feels like there was more time to flesh out the characters in the second arc than in the first, because in the first you were just like still exploring everything. And obviously the Dragonettes of Destiny had never seen the world, so it was all new to them and to us as the readers. So there was like a lot more focus on that, and only then in the second arc did we really get to focus on the characters as well. And I think third arc does a bit more of that, exploring the world again, where I just I just prefer the character studies, um, which is why I, I don't know, I couldn't say I prefer, I prefer the villains of the second arc a lot more, but yeah, 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 yeah complete dark stalk is some, what can I say, <laughs> um, but like, yeah, I just, I just prefer the villains of the second arc, um, I think the story in the first arc is better, but the villains of the second arc are better. Um, Quick Strike. I think she's the she's the really evil and likable one. Um, a readers is a good boy. He's, I don't know. To me, he's the exact same as Clay. That's, they they just grew up in different places. That's that's all that separates them for me. I don't know. I feel like Mudwings are just written bland. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Reptile, oh, he's, he's a sweet boy. I mean, he liked his tsunami, but I mean, she would have hated him either for lying or for immediately telling her the truth. So, well, whatever. Don't care. He's, he's, he's a good boy. Rose, d don't really know much about her. But, I mean, seems cool. A uh, Ruby, I really, really disliked her for hating Peril so much. Though that was completely understandable, like she thought Peril killed her sister, and she thought Peril killed well, a lot of baby dragonets and their eggs. Um, but reason she's not higher is that I prefer I prefer the I don't know what her name was, but like the the dragon that Ruby originally was, like the stronger the stronger Skywing that Scarlet let uh, let make disappear with the help of Chameleon. Like, I just prefer that other version better. Because it just seems like a cooler and more fun character. Like, from the prologue of that book as well. That that just seemed more fun and Ruby was just kind of boring in comparison. Sandstorm? I don't know who you are yet. Scarab? Um, Scarab seems fun. She's, she's cool. She's nice. <coughs> Apologies. Uh, Scarlet is a good villain. She's better than Morrissey, but I definitely rate her below each of the Sandwing uh, potential queens. And I don't know. I mean, she's a good villain, but she's she just after she gets scarred, she just feels very ineffective to me. 
Like, I feel like she just never gets anything done. And even, like, when she's trying to blackmail Icicle into helping her, like, she just she just doesn't get anything done. She's just... She just feels a bit ineffective and useless. And she's not queen anymore, which, I mean, it's fair enough, I guess. But, eh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Secret Keeper M Moon's mum. She's... I don't know. She's, she's worse than boring. She's just... I just don't like her. Plus, how could she have Morosia as a mate? How on earth could you? <laughs> what is wrong with you, lady? Sequoia, she's still alive. That that seems like a spoiler. I hope she like. I hope, I hope she's dead. But I, judging by the fact she's on here, she's gonna be alive. Uh, Shark's one of the unlikable, unlikable sea wings with Moray and Pike. Six claws, yeah. Oh, oops, sorry, I, I, I dropped some six claws. Uh, seems, seems decent, seems nice. Um, Sky, oh, I love Sky. Sky is adorable. He is Peril's sibling, right? Like, he, like he's gotta be. There's, no, there's no way he isn't. Um, I've, I've not, I've not gone super far, but I, I, I hope he is. He's, 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 he's the sweetest boy. Smolder. He's fun. But he too reminds me too much of Blister to really like him. It's a I don't know. I just I just get really weird vibes from him, which I mean is is just good book writing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just gives me weird vibes. Snow Fox. Um, I don't know. I really hate Snow Fox and. Um. Snowflake? Wait, Snowfall is the name of the... Of the new protagonist, right? Oh my god, I, f I, f I forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't... I, 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 th these ice wings confuse me. They all look the same as well. <laughs> um, But like Snow Fox and Snowflake, like the, the winglet runaway ones... Um, they work really well together. I'm sure they make a lovely couple. Maybe, maybe they did. Who knows what happened back then? Um, but they just both seem mean. <laughs> I don't like that about them. Um, who's this? Oh, sorry, that's our PTSD assassin. Um, I don't know. The fact that she's a PTSD assassin makes it cool. And more of an interesting character than her siblings, but I still don't really like her. Squid is just... I'd put him in, I don't like him, or I hate you, if I didn't want him to stop talking first. Um, okay, um, this one I will probably run into big trouble with online. I am... Um... I'm very sorry, but I uh, I hate Starflight even more than I hate Anemone. And that, uh, like, you can worry, and you can be in love with a person that doesn't love you back. Um, but eh, like he's just oh my god that website shut up. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, but he's just like. Like the way turtle worries or fathom worries is is more reasonable, and Starflight just oh he just he, no, no he's he's just nah nah I'm sorry <laughs> I don't like him one bit he's just too much for me, and he's just kind of trotting after others constantly and he just doesn't do stuff on his own it like I get that in his book he he changes a bit and then he does. But then, like, once he finally, like, gets off his ass and does anything, he's blinded. And then he, then he's just stuck in a cave being a librarian for the rest of, the rest of his life. Which, I mean, I'm sure makes him happy. Like, I mean, the, the, li the librarian part, not the blinded part. But, like, like, all the time he was just, he was just standing still but trying not to get noticed. And then finally he does anything and then... He gets blinded and all that character development feels like it's been for naught. I don't know. I'm not happy with that. Um, stone. No idea. Who are these night wings? Well, that's, uh. 
I do, I do not know who you are. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Sandu, um, haven't read a book yet, but she seems like a badass, awesome, cool kid. Um, she just seems cool. Uh, Sunny, I rarely hated before I read her book. Um, but afterwards I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, she can, she can actually get stuff done. I like that. I like that about her. But, uh, at the start I hated her just as much as I hate Starflight. Uh, I was like, oh god, these two, like, they're the most useless dragons in all the world. She doesn't even have a tail bob. Was like, eh. Like, I, I was very biased against <laughs> both of them. Because they were like, oh, he's supposed to have mind reading and prophesying powers. And be able to see the future. She's supposed to have a cool tail bob and be cool. And then they the, they just both aren't. Um, and it's like, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have a Skywing instead of either of these two, but... Something I've really got to like throughout the series. Sunstreak, don't remember. Uh, Sawtail is Luna, but... <laughs> At least... <laughs> sorry. At least he's witty. Uh, Tamarin. Uh, Tamarin I really like. She seems like an interesting and cool character. Um, <coughs> and it's... Sorry that, I, that I'm coughing so much. My voice is not recovered from being sick at all yet. This is way too much to do. I I haven't really spoken to anybody in a couple of weeks. This is not a good video idea, but whatever. But yeah, Tamarin's really sweet. Uh, she's definitely ahead of most of these. Um, Tempest, no idea. The Librarian. Ah, right. I sympathize very greatly with her, poor woman. Thorn, yeah, Thorn's really likable. Though, I kind of... Okay, this is going to sound bad, but... I wish Thorn was as brutal as Burn or as evil as Blister. Because we had such great Sandwing Queens to choose from. And we just got, like... Well, I mean, she led a group of outlaws, but now that they're not outlaws anymore, they like got to be all nice and cool and act all all good because they're, they're supposed to set an example for the other citizens and oh <laughs> like come on at least have some i mean she's not really like a mary sue but she is too flawless for me and i just i just i just wish we had we had had blazers oblivious ness burns cruelty or blisters malevolence on throne instead of just peaceful goody goody two shoes um, and while Thorn is a cool character and an awesome mum to Sunny, I just, I just look at what could have been and I'm sad. Um, thoughtful. I don't remember. I probably don't remember. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami is bae. Um, <laughs> nah, I love her loud and angry uh, and always willing to fight uh, energy. And... Like well, when she when she learns to think first, that's that's perfectly fine too. I I love her the way she is. Um, she is awesome. Tundra, uh, Tundra is definitely worse than Narwhal. Where did I put Narwhal? There. Um, I don't remember what makes her worse exactly, but I remember that she was. Like... Maybe I just sympathise with Narwhal more because he dies, but the. <laughs> <laughs> Get away, Tundra. Uh, Turtle is a very sweet boy. Very sweet boy. And I, I'm i I'm so sorry for him that that, that that happened with the twig that he... Or the branch that he enchanted. Like, a poor Turtle. Poor Turtle. Uh, Typhoon? I think he's one of the unlikable sea wings. Not sure, though. Umber, he's... He's one of the siblings. <laughs> Not much more to say. Undauntable, he seems very unlikable. I don't know much about him yet. He's only just mar uh, proposed to marry um, Ren. Uh, where I'm right now, but he seems very, very spoiled, very unlikable. Uh, vengeance. I think she's one of the evil ones, but I'm not sure. 
The million, I think, is one of the annoying ones and uninteresting ones. A violet belongs right with daffodil. They are sweet. And I love them dearly. <laughs> um, Wren is awesome, and I'm going to put over the sky. Viper. Oh, that's... Wait. Viper. Wait, do we not have Cobra? Why do we not have Cobra? Why do we not have Keebly's mum? Like, she's an interesting one. She's like the top assassin on, uh, on the entirety of Pyria. Okay, I don't know who Viper is, so I'm going to pretend this is Cobra and put her up here. Because she is she is a horrible, abusive mum. But a very interesting character, and I'd love to know more about her assassinations, even though she is the worst, absolutely the worst. Vulture, um, he was interesting, and I really liked how scared Keebly was of him, and how big and intimidating of a character that made him seem. But then Darkstalker just kind of beamed him to took Vulture and beamed him to Darkstalker and then was just completely ridiculed and yeah yeah <laughs> that just kind of that just kind of killed Vulture for me a uh, wasp I don't, <coughs> I don't know much about her yet <coughs> but she definitely seems very unlikable webs I don't know. He was nice. To the dragonettes were nicer than the other two. But it's just... I just don't... Nah, I just don't like him. I'm not sure he deserves to be put next to Queen Wasp. But oh well. Whirlpool? Oh my god, I hate him. I absolutely hate him. Actually, I, can't, I kind of hate Wasp too. Like, I think the, the hive mind control is horrible. Um, Whiteout is a very sweet bean. Um, we don't really know a lot about her, though. Well, I'm definitely put it, putting her above these. Um, we don't know a lot about her, so that, that's why I'm not putting her higher, but I really hope she had a nice, she had a nice life with, uh, Thoughtful. Like, she was sweet. She was an art artist as well. And she definitely deserved better than having her brother go berserker, having First Layer be impersonated by Queen Icewing, whichever one it was back then, uh, and having a father rip out his own tongue and disembowel himself. That's... Don't really wish that on anybody, I must say. <laughs> Willow, um, I think she's 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 got something to do with Sundu, but don't know her. And Winter, um, Winter would easily be one of my top characters, except I absolutely hate everybody who's like really fond of scavengers I don't know what it is I realise that scavengers are humans <laughs> and that I'm being a bit weird about this um, but I don't know I really hate that about Winter like, okay, okay I mean he, deserve, he deserves a spot of that he's a lovely bean and he's got a handsome face I mean don't forget about that um but I didn't, I, why does he like scavengers so much? Stop! Please. Just stay at Keebly instead. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the uh, the top three tiers again. Read out the names. <coughs> <coughs> and then that's it. That's that's us through every single thing. Um, wait, I'm going to make sure that you can see this well. Um, so... Here's all the who are you. Sorry if your favourite character's in here and I just don't know who it is. I'm sorry. Um, and here's the I hate yous. I feel, I feel like Chameleon might be. Chameleon, Fade Speaker might be debatable to everybody with that. Wasp probably too. I do not like you. It's those. I feel like all, all of these are very unlikable. At least the ones that are recognisable. Uh, Starflight and Anemone will probably get me into trouble. Hailstorm, maybe too. And then all these very forgettable Ice Wings. Um, and then Hair Peacemaker. A little Rain Wing baby. Um, 
than here all the oh sorry just just the sloth queen Okay, so perfect. Love them a lot. Clear side at number one. Dark Stalker at number two. Moon at number three. Keebly. Peril. Indigo. Tsunami. Blob. <laughs> Fathom. Blaze. Burn. Blister. Glory. Deathbringer. Gill. Orca. <laughs> right, sorry. Sky. Wren. Sundew. Thorn. Turtle. Winter. Fondly held. They are. They. They, 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 they are good. <laughs> okay, that threw me for a loop there. Listener, Albatross, Battle Winner, Cliff, Coro, Fox Club, Scarlet, Morrissey, a Reptide, Sunny, The Librarian, Viper. Well, no, no, not Viper, Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. Decent, Average Buddy, Arctic, Clay, Reed, Cricket, Foslayer, Tamarin, Grandeur, Magnificent, Dazzling, Violet, Def Daffodil, Icicle, Flame, Ivy, Jambu, Kinkajou, Leaf, Whiteout, Moorhen, Ruby, Scarab, Six Claws, Smolder, and Vulture. So, this is this is my list that I have made. I hope you have enjoyed this list. <coughs> Wait, presentation mode? What's that do? Oh, that looks much better. Whoopsie. <laughs> No, you can't actually see the top, so that's not very helpful. Um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've absolutely ruined my voice in the process of making this. So I hope that is appreciated. Uh, please don't hate on me too much for putting some of the main characters really far down. I, uh, I, I tried to be nice. Um... But yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. I'm going to link the tier list. If you'd like to go for this yourself, then go for that. Um, the original video was made by Bellasaurus that I'm basing this on. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.